Hey everybody, Watch the Review here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Hand Ninja. Um, anecdote, I got this figure because I was bidding on something else, but then um, I didn't know if I was going to win that or not, so I bid on this, just because in case it did win that, I could bundle the shipping, but I um, ended up losing both the other things I was bidding on, so I ended up buying a whole bunch of other stuff, which honestly was... Um, a little bit stupid when you're trying to like cut corners in eBay this sort of stuff happens um right Marvel Universe hand ninja it talks about the Nick Fury exclusive figure offer <coughs> sorry a little congested still allergies um this is what I'm thinking of for there's one Nick Fury exclusive offer if you get like a three month subscription to um their online comics. Now I've used this online comic service. I can just I'll outright tell you that I think the service isn't all that great. I mean, it might work for some people. It just doesn't do it for me. <clears throat> uh, for some reason, the uh, screen size or whatever, it's like I can't read most of the bubbles. You can like zoom in and stuff and the, some of the words, but not some of the sound effects and the thoughts and so forth. So honestly, I don't see much use to the entire service, but I got it free with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Every month I've logged in maybe twice. But yeah, I'm not sure if that's the same Nick Fury exclusive figure or not. Because I knew they made a 3 and 3 quarters Nick Fury, but it might just be a X amount of UPCs. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the Marvel Universe figures, but I'm giving you a shot. I'm also going to be picking up the Iron Man from the Wave 1 and... Yeah, just him, actually, I think. And then Beast from the Marvel Legends showdown. But I kind of want the Miss Marvel. And there's one or two other Marvel Universes that I saw that I actually think do look kind of neat. So I'm going to open them up and give you a look. Um, as I commented in other videos, the first thing you'll notice is they do come with a lot of accessories. It comes with a... Um, what do you call this? Sort of halberd. The exact name, I think it was maybe Naginata. Exact name escapes me. It looks like a katana and a um, smaller blade that a samurai also used. I forget the name. Um, and a cheap little top secret file, which is just a stat card and a um, cheesy letter from Nick Fury and actually the code. I think maybe this is a uh, UPC one where if you have X amount of codes, you can probably get the figure. I'll look it up later. Um, in terms of articulation, it's a bit better than the uh, Showdown series that I was discussing previously. Get this in a closer light. You have articulation at the wrist, at the bicep, one point at elbow, two points at knee. One point upper torso, one point waist, one point head, but dude, this sculpt doesn't move much. See the whole hooded design. Just jams the plastic all over. And uh, the legs are sort of impeded by this, but can go up and down in good ways. Um, and of course the leg has the sort of peg joint. Um, I hate how they can't move the wrist side to side. Um, overall, this sort of articulation stuff's like cool for G.I. Joe, but for my Marvel figures, you know, you've been expecting like a lot more for even from Hasbro in recent years. I mean, I will give them this. It does look a bit nice compared to some of the Marvel Legends they've released, but it's not saying much. I think the face, um, looks awful. The uh, eyes and everything. I don't know what kind of expression he's making. I mean, it's just completely out there. Um, color, texturing, it's okay, but he's a kind of boring figure in terms of. Well, I mean, the henchmen are never really boring figures. I mean, I love henchmen. That's one of the cool things that the entire line has done. <clears throat> the Marvel Universe line's actually done well. They've released a shit ton of henchmen. Whereas traditionally you wouldn't see many henchmen in the main figure lines. Like I think the um, Hydra Soldier might have been the only one. So I do appreciate that fact. 
um, overall, <clears throat> it's just not a, um, it's a very functional figure. It's just not a, um, figure that you're gonna get excited about or anything unless you happen to be a fan of these precise henchmen, but he can hold his weapons kind of serviceably. It just takes a bit to get in and out, and they feel kind of fragile just because it's so thin. I actually do like the Naginata too, just because it's a pretty kick-ass weapon, but just pull this in his hands. But yeah. If I had like say a young child, I these might be the kind of figures I'd give them. Well actually probably not really young, probably maybe an eight or nine year old. Or any age where they stop sticking stuff in their mouth, but um, in terms of a display piece, you know, they're just too small to really display effectively. I mean, I guess if you got a whole bunch of them, you could just have like a little army, but at about seven bucks a pop, which is what they retail for, I don't think you'll want to do that, but you may find a discount eventually. <sighs> I um, actually got them for five, but I'm not sure what the shipping handling was offhand. This is a bundle. I end up getting him. Um, this Loki from the um, figure slash statue things, which I'll probably talk about at some point, and a um, DCU Ares for about seven bucks. That's uh, the classic Ares. But yeah, not a whole lot to say about it. I think it's okay, but. I'm not a huge fan of the Hand Ninja, I don't remember a whole lot of instances where I've seen them, so... You'll see the whole thing when you talk about Hand Ninja, it automatically brings to mind the, um... Also weirdly colored purple Foot Ninja from the, um... Ninja Turtle series, but... Yeah, I'm rambling. Check you next time.